Hi, after Big Life demonstrating uh, this uh, amazing little USB uh, solder iron. Um, uh, as, as it says, it's powered by uh, uh, USB, but you can't use it on a uh, wall adapter because of the uh, charged uh, capacitive coupling uh, that can damage electronic uh, components that you solder with it. So you use a uh, big uh, beefy uh, battery, as uh, Clive called it like this one and um, it should uh, have uh, around one and a half to two amps uh, could deliver that uh, without a problem mine squeaks uh, when it uh, when it's operating with this soldering iron but i don't know if that's a problem it might be inductors or so and um, or capacitors i hope there's no smoke coming out uh, from it uh, later on but the problem was when i bought one uh, as well um that uh, the the touchpad that's here uh, is um, that which is uh, connected uh, with a wire to uh, NE555 um, should be touched uh, all the time to keep it active. The LED uh, then turns on the red LED, but it di it didn't. Maybe my hands are too dry. I don't know. It could have. Uh, uh, Clive answered in an email to me. It should could be. Uh, uh, electronic noise is too uh, too low or too weird in my location. <laughs> why? Uh, that, that's why it didn't uh, activate when I touched the touchpad. Only thing was what I could do was uh, move it uh, because there's also a spring in a tube uh, switch. But uh, yeah, I have to uh, do this all the time to keep it active. So um, I thought of it and uh, I also ordered a second one to see if that one will work with the touchpad but that's not arrived yet but what what I did is um, opened up this uh, USB solder, soldering iron and then um, removed the wire with the uh, the spring which connects to this touchpad and um, uh, also removed the spring in a tube uh, switch and between the contacts of that I so made the soldering connection so now every time the soldering iron gets power it uh, it activates and uh, keeps activated um, but uh, I hated to have to remove uh, the plug every time because uh, a USB plug you know our uh, polarity uh, uh, you have to uh, observe the polarity uh, to the way you turn it around and put it in it's uh, annoying so what I did was uh, insert uh, in the wire I cut it through and insert a, a switch so now it's easier to operate okay this so uh, it will every time uh, the iron gets power it will uh, keep uh, powered on i will demonstrate this now by operate by enabling the battery first so it's enabled and now i turn on the switch and now the light has come on and you can hear the squeaking inside the battery i hope it's in, inside the power bank hope it's not failing uh, soon and uh, it's uh, heating up it takes uh, 30 seconds or so, I believe. I have here a piece of uh, soldering uh, wire and uh, my uh, cute lamp <laughs> to have some light here. And now I uh, connect the, I, I put some soldering to the, I went to uh, some, uh, to the soldering iron. Okay, it's not heated up. Wait a second. Yeah, now it is. Oh, it's very smoky. But you can see it's hot. Okay, so it it stays on all the time. You don't have to touch it. Don't have to move it. Not uh, holding the pad. And if I want to turn it off, I flick this switch. Okay, it's uh, that's not touch to for. Uh, okay, but it's uh, now turned off and the LED is off and it will cool down. Okay, this is my demonstration.